right, I want to go into technique, and before I do this, people thought I was just carrying stuff in with this thing. I use sticks, and I don't hit people with this, I'll tell you that, okay? I might be mean, but I'm not that mean, okay? Um, we're talking about the shoulders, okay? And I'm actually in the process of designing something with PVC piping. All right, Ski, come on out. You're going you're gonna to work with me on this. You're going to stand right there, All right. okay? So hold, hold the stick, okay. okay? So what do you got to do? As a defense lineman, you got to fight pressure, right? You got to fight pressure all the time. And you got to be able to sense pressure, okay? So what we, what we do is, okay, and I got this one on, old NFL guy, okay? We're going to put the hands, he used the room stick all the time, so I thought it was pretty good if he could do it. So you got your hands, the defense lineman's got his hands in here. Now, here's what I don't like, here's why I'm redesigning this, what I want to do. My thumbs are in the wrong position, aren't they? All right? Because I want to grab on to this thing, but literally I should be like this. So, you guys who are creative, I'm not a, you know, my family knows I'm mechanically challenged. Okay? I'm terrible. All right? I always figure things, something needs to be fixed, that's why the yellow pages are there. Okay? So, I'm going to have a PVC piping with the attachments coming down so I get short bars so I can have my hands like this for the defense alignment. Okay, that's my next thing. I haven't created it yet. I haven't had time with recruiting. Okay, but I'm going to be like this. Now, what I'm going to do is tell the defense lineman he's going to get down in his position. The offense guy is going to stay just, just like he can stay up because I want to be lower. Okay. All right, but now I'm going to tell the defense lineman you close your eyes. Okay, you have no idea where that pressure is coming from. So I close my eyes, start moving one hand to the other. There it is. Okay, now we come from there, come from there, come from there. Okay, so every time he moves, all right, I got to I got to come with that push to counter that, just like I would in the game. All right, so now you're going to come in here. So I'm going to come in here. Okay, close your eyes, Ski. Yep. All right. Okay, now I'll help. Drop your feet. Okay, drop your feet. There you go. Right. Where am I at? Where am I at? Come on, come on, come on. Where am I at? Where am I at? There you go. He's got to come back and forth and get that arm push. And what I'm really looking for when he does it is watch. The hip. Watch the hip. Does the hip work into it? Okay? Why do you want the hip? You want that power. Alright, you gotta have power right there. So we want that hip to move in here. Okay, so he's down here move feet. There it is. Come on, where, where is that? Where is that? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Where is it? I'm over here. There you go. You gotta get that sense. And it takes time. One of the great things is. You saw these first three drills. I asked our defense lineman, can't mandate anything, NCAA Division III, can't man mandate them going to the weight room. They've got to just go in there and know that, hey, it's like a class. I always tell them it's like class. You want to go get any class, you better study outside of class, the classroom, right? Unless you're a genius, okay? And then if you want to be a good football player, you better get in the weight room. Shouldn't have to tell you that. Our guys, defense linemen, though, will finish their drill, their, their weight session doing a lot of these things right here. They, we just keep the equipment out. I don't hide anything. I figure, you know, $2 hula hoop, somebody wants to steal that thing. Who's going to steal a green neon hula hoop? All right. A couple of rice. They can always find sticks. Okay. So they do this. The ladders, the strength coaches have ladders as well all over the place. So... They can do all these things every time they're in the weight room. And we want to teach that balance. Now one of the things as Ski was getting there, do you notice how his head was starting to come forward? Okay, he's coming in here, he's getting a little top heavy. Okay, because what will happen is, and I'll do this if I think somebody's really getting bad at it, as they start getting top heavy, I was doing, I'm going here, so he's, you know, go, go against what I'm doing. Okay, okay. so if I go this way, we're, no, go there you go. Okay. Go this way. I put it down and see how they keep their balance. Okay, that's my check of them to see where their balance is at all times because we're in a balanced situation at all times. Okay, all right. Any questions? I like that one. Everybody got a broom stick around there? You can go go to you know shop class or whatever like that. Uh, like I said, I'm going to redesign it. So that I have PVC piping, it's going to be three pieces of PVC piping, I got attachments, and, and I want to have the attachments so the hands 
are basically right in here. So I got to do this, okay? Because this is more conducive to what we what we do at all times, okay? So I, I'm excited about that in terms of just kind of moving forward with it. 